a reaction. <laughs> quite appropriate because mm. on occasion my sense of humor has caused offence. <laughs> Put the malicious intent involved. And to give you an example, <laughs> <laughs> I was walking through like this one night now and I saw the homeless couple getting physically intimate in the doorway of the cards. Now it was a little bit too much public affection for my taste, so I told them to get a box. <laughs> 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 and then unlikely I've tried to confuse the situation with a knock knock joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've been at Springfield now almost 12 years. I started when I was 18 as an apprentice. And early this year I turned 30. And I have to admit, I was a little bit worried about it. Because I'd probably be 30 if I were to hit a child. But there's a 20% chance they wouldn't survive. <laughs> 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 of course, I'm only joking. I have never hit a child or a woman for that matter. Although spousal abuse is on the increase. You only have to watch a Jeremy Khan show to see that. But on there, it's women hitting men. <laughs> he can tell him where to track his bonds in Mo's relationship. <laughs> as I said, I started at Springfield as an apprentice. And I believe I owe a debt of gratitude to my employer because it gave me the opportunity to develop whilst getting paid, which was an incentive that I didn't have when I was in the school. You know, it's fair to say that I didn't pay that much attention. I used to think most of it was irrelevant. You know, some of the classes were particularly pointless, like sex education. <laughs> so like most teenagers, I used the internet to fill in the gaps. There was sex education, pornography, but it's only when you get older that you wish you could go back and do it all over again. When trying for our first child, it took us over 12 months to conceive. We did all the tests to make sure that she wasn't barren and that my sperm wasn't something we never did. Just turned out the vagina wasn't bleeding on the face. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of change in my time at Springfield. You know, when I first started, it was being a fan. And you still refer to it as being a fan. Because how into it into someone that being a fan no longer exists. I mean, Springfield School Building, which is owned and operated by Westinghouse as part of a long term leasing arrangement, and ultimately is owned by Toshiba, is as exasperated as trying to convince an elderly relative with senile dementia that the nurses haven't stolen their jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you still say being now, because the moment you mention Springfield, people will automatically ask the question, for some strange reason, is it full of yellow people? And I don't know whether I'm allowed to get racially offended by that, but I don't think we've got any pills on time. Oriental. <laughs> Uh, like I said, there's been a lot of change in my time. There was, a, there was a brief period where we were owned by the National Association of Dyslexics, or in the end, if you won't know what happened. And now, now we're in the private sector. You know, no more going in or getting wet and windy, yeah, all in the name of the safety workshop at the expense of the taxpayer. <laughs> like a crooked empty. <laughs> and what did they have to do now? <laughs> Community service work. <laughs> there was people involved in the riots who got a life sentence. <laughs> and we got to get Tesco value bag of rice at the end of it. <laughs> and we send, we send commercial people out and accountants to undertake these projects that you have to see on ground force or grand design. And they've probably got the combined DIY skills of a chuckle woman. <laughs> <laughs> and the people that we're doing this for, they're not anticipating miracles. Because they're expecting the people from where side to never sleeps. Because they couldn't be bothered to tell them it's not being a fell anymore. <laughs> 
And you know at the end of it, they're going to be disappointed as two long-term internet chat room friends meeting for the first time, only to discover that they're both middle-aged men and not caught in long term. <laughs> We often say that Springfield's improving all the time. I can tell you one area where it's not. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Just the other day, I heard how Chris Cummings got pickpocketed. How someone could sleep so long. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Springfield is improving. It is improving. And we do learn a lot of good things. Like safety. You know, we take it home and we try to instill it within our children to protect them. But we just end up alienating them. We let them play on the Wii with my eye infection. And wear gloves and a respirator when hands we played on. And our kids will end up being weird ones so that the sign doing a risk assessment when they should be playing with them. in our cupboards. Because heaven forbid you should have run out of baked beans, tomato ketchup or spam. <laughs> but of course, lean completely goes out the window at Christmas time, where we all stop up like we're expecting nuclear holocaust. And after we all done with, we step on the scale afterwards, and you're left with that remorseful feeling of all first time or Christmas time. I sacrificed my beautiful body because I couldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> and at what point did it become customary to eat yourself to the brink of obesity for morbid obesity? I don't want to be accused of discrimination here. <laughs> You know, what point did that become traditional in celebrating the birth of Santa? <laughs> I feel like I've been blasphemous there because I am an atheist. To me, Christianity is a lie about the fair which got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> Probably with a guy called Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> to me, religion just allowed previous incarnations of man being in solutions to questions that we couldn't answer. And I think scientific advances has made that thinking and that logic obsolete. You know, and I think this is no more evident than in old life tales. Now recently I was talking with a call. I told my grandma about this, and she asked if I'd been going outside with wet hair. <laughs> and, well, based on that logic, there is a cure for the common cold. Boldness. <laughs> you know, so to which I reply, I suppose if I have an apple a day, I'd be fine. But of course, we now know it's five a day. <laughs> and the thing that intrigues me is how do these old wives' tales start? Was there a group of old women that used to get together on a regular basis to compile this list and share it with the world? You know, was it like, uh, eat it, and uh, drive it into this week? And up where they keep the doctor away. And you can prove that, can you? You have scientific evidence to back that way. Well, I've been having an apple a day now for the past two months and I haven't needed to see a doctor. Good enough for me. <laughs> Mary. Have you got anything this week? No, I've got anything. You seem to be looking a little bit different this week, Ma this week Mary, if you don't mind saying so. Have you, uh, you had a pearl? No? Yeah, I'm looking a lot curlier than usual. Have you been doing anything differently? I've started eating the crust off my bread. <laughs> <laughs> so, eating crusts may share your curly? Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 Joyce, anything from you? Joyce? Joyce? Why are you pulling that face? Edie, do you know what's wrong with Joyce? <laughs> no, I just saw her pull that face and it looked like the wind changed her. <laughs> and it stayed that way. Of course, we now know that Joyce has just probably been the victim of a massive stroke. <laughs> I think there's no 
little bit more that encapsulates the age of the field and wanting to pick your kids up from school on a Friday. So you finish early and take a bit of credit time. But as soon as you get on the side, drive at a certain amount of an hour, so you've been constrained with the velocity of a milk ball for a whole 40 minutes. <laughs> 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 having to drive with your elbows, you know, you've got all the missed calls you need to attend because you haven't been able to answer it all day because you've been in an ever active situation. <laughs> to arrive at the school, you see the children coming out like you've been involved in the battle of the song. And you're just completely unharmed. You go over here, what the hell happened here? You know that climbing thing with you and your colleagues and you feel that but it fell down while further on was on it. <laughs> oh, you just, how come you're unscathed? I was thinking this is such a good thing.